Any further comment? All right, seeing none, we'll close public comment at this point. Questions from council? Mr. Tanner, go for it. Mayor, members of the council, my mic doesn't work, so I'll yell. Uh, the, uh, the splash pad was a, a item that was on the agenda back in October 26, 2010. It's a community block grant funded project, and that was reevaluated as being a priority number two uh, budget at $764,000. Uh, that is how the splash pad came about, is through that, uh, that uh, approval of that uh, community block grant for the funding between 2010 and 2015. Um, as I took over this project last spring, uh, evaluated it, uh, several things that uh, we worked through was, one was the pond pump. I didn't believe the pond pump was necessary. There's uh, other available ways to aerate the pond. That, those ways have been budgeted this year in the budget and are being looked at and modified. Um, the pond pump is also going to provide irrigation water to the park. Um, that uh, that will still be provided in the manner that it's being provided. Um, with the uh, splash pad, the drainage that's underneath the splash pad, um, I'd recommend that be removed uh, in the project in the beginning, but because of budget constraints, it was not. I don't believe it's in our best interest to have a storm drain running under a concrete splash pad. Um, there's, there's too many problems or there's things that can happen. So my recommendation is to remove the storm drain out from underneath the splash pad. And then another concern is a retaining wall. Um, if we've looked at it, it won't be 826 feet. We'll limit that down to about 450 feet. But that will protect any flooding from getting to the splash pad. Is, as it happened in 2005. Uh, my recommendation is to move forward with this, I'm making those modifications, and then adding in the, uh, uh, the construction management portion of it and putting the professional people that help design the water park on board with the inspections and the approvals of the equipment, submittals, RFIs that will be involved in to make sure that we get what we actually have bid and want. And that has, in the past, been some problems with some of our pool projects. It's, they're a little more complicated than just road, road reconstruction projects and sediment removal, those types of things. This is, has a little more technical involvement. I'd like to try to make sure, it's a small investment to make sure we get what we're paying for, is by having the people that design the park also on staff inspecting as it's being constructed. Thank you, Mr. Tanner. Uh, what's the maintenance going to be on that? You know, I I never looked at that. Um, when I got this project, we were way past that. Um, I didn't see those things have been brought forward in the past bid, the past documents. So I have not evaluated. Do you foresee any major amounts of maintenance on this? I do not. I believe that the reason we went through the went to the uh, recycling system through the flow through system was because of the water usage, water fees was going to be way higher than what the maintenance was. So we elected to go through a recycle system to drop down the maintenance fees, which would be less than our you know, water fees. Um, it, it has a UV disinfection. The maintenance fees uh, probably wouldn't be very high, um, and we would only operate for you know, probably seven months out of the year, six to seven months out of the year. Uh, I can certainly evaluate those. I know those numbers are out there. I just wasn't prepared with the maintenance cost. I kind of passed that point. Up. But, uh, I can certainly look into that and bring that back. Okay. Um, one of the concerns I have also is making, trying to get these modifications done. I would, I would like to have something to go to bid in mid-January, early February. I would like the bid process to last quite a bit longer than it did last time. It gives contractors more opportunity to sharpen their pencil, possibly get lower bids. So I'd like to extend the bidding time longer in order to do 
that, and we're looking into March, April, late March. So by the time we did that award, 90 days to 120 days to construct, we're pushing up against the all in uh, late April, early May. Okay. Councilman Green. Uh, yes, Mr. Kanner, if you could explain to the public uh, the use of the special for special purpose funding here, the CDBG versus our, the general funds. CDBG grant funding is funding, uh, and I may have to refer to Dave uh, a little bit on this, but this is funding that comes from the community block grant. Each year we're allocated a certain portion of that funding, which is about $192,000 a year. We approved our fiscal year 13-14 um, allocation in July of this year, that was the $192,056. That grant funding is approved uh, for projects, specific, specifically through the planning process that we submit to the community block grant funding for projects that fit within their uh, criteria, which is part of the documentation backup that's in this agenda item. Uh, community block grant funding, uh, our last year for this year's cycle is fiscal year 14-15. We have one more funding, and my understanding is we need to have that funding expanded at the end of that cycle. Is that true, Dave? Yes, that's correct. So this is going to be funded by uh, totally by the block grants. The only impact on the general fund would be the minor amount of annual maintenance that you mentioned. That is correct. Now, part of this funding also comes from the tax parts credits funds. If we need to get into that two hundred thousand that uh, is budgeted in that, uh, uh, also there's there's a portion of that that would come out of the tax parts fund. That fund is also based for improvements to specific neighborhood parks. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to maintain it our costs down. Right now I'm anticipating we're between 118 and 150,000 under the total funding we have. So I believe we're there. Uh, we will get a, a, a wonderful project. Um, it, it, is, it is a great project. I want to remind everyone in the documents we are evaluating reinstalling the runnels. If those runnels are, are too expensive, if we're talking a couple hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand, then we will, we will not go down that road. Uh, that is in the back of, we are still evaluating that. I would like to see those in the project. Uh, we've already designed it that way. I'd like to see them in there. Thank you, Mr. Cannon. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Withelder. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. And I would just like to uh, explain to the public why I requested that item be pulled from the consent agenda because certainly after what you just heard in the last 15 or 20 minutes it's just much more important to get uh, explanation from the experts so that everybody can digest it rather than rubber stamping it and uh, putting it on the consent agenda so thank you everybody for your input. Thank you. 